In Media Central UX, logging refers to the process of adding information to clips, subclips, and sequences. This information includes markers, restrictions, and text, which you can use for reference during story creation and media editing. Media Central enables fast, flexible logging. A special layout for logging called the Log Layout provides the ability to enable a markers pane for viewing and editing markers. The following are three examples of typical logging workflows that utilize markers. The first is logging a video feed. A media logger will log content at the same time that media is being ingested. You can add markers to specify particular video or audio frames and add comments. A journalist can then open a specific clip in Media Central and view the markers and comments even while the recording is still in progress. This is sometimes referred to as edit while capture. Another workflow is logging recorded video. Here, a media logger browses for previously recorded clips and then logs the content. Comments on markers may include a transcription of the interview. A journalist would then use that transcription as a starting point for a story. Creating a shot list refers to a media logger placing markers on clips to identify specific shots, then subclipping and combining subclips into a shot list. A journalist or logger might create a shot list with markers and subclips for a sequence. Another media editor can then match the shot list to a story text or use it to create a voiceover track. Two or more loggers can simultaneously add markers to the same clip while it's being recorded or after the fact. To display all saved markers, simply refresh the markers pane or use the My Markers button in the markers pane. You can display the markers you created or display the markers created by other users. Two or more loggers can also add markers to the same sequence. However, loggers should try to limit their edits to the markers pane and make sure that no one else is editing the sequence. Any edits to the sequence, such as L cuts or trims, that are saved in Checked In will overwrite the previously checked in sequence, including markers that were not in the newly edited version. Closing the sequence pane can help avoid this problem. Most of the functions for logging utilize keyboard shortcuts, which is especially helpful when working with live video feeds. For instance, Control M adds a marker for an approximate point. You can then type the text for the marker, Control Enter will exit and save the marker, and then Control M to add another marker. To control playback of a clip, use Control J back, Control K to stop, and Control L to move forward. Selecting Control plus the left arrow allows you to move one frame back, and Control plus the right arrow moves one frame forward. Keep in mind that these two functions won't work while you're typing text into a marker in edit mode. Creating subclips is another very popular feature inside Media Central. You can create subclips from clips stored in the Interplay Production database. Load the original clip into the media pane and set an in point and an out point. In the assets pane, display the folder in which you want to store the subclip. Click anywhere in the media viewer and drag the thumbnail from the media pane to the folder. You can also drag the thumbnail to the line of the assets pane that holds that folder. For more information about logging and subclipping inside Media Central UX, you can always check out the user guide located inside the Avid Knowledge Base. For more videos, check out avid.com forward slash how to.